All right, as the title says, we got to come out and visit this old girl again. Oh, we got lighting differences huh? out here in the sun, and it's in here in the shade. There we go. We are in working on the big old 98. We have our front two threaded rods run. Thank you, Jeremy. Jeremy actually messaged after my last video. Um, he saw that I had not read up on the rules quite recently, and he told me how I could run the rods, um, so I appreciate that. Got them in place, down to the frame, ready to go. We have another set of holes in the hood, and then that actually goes, I don't know if we're going to be able to see, yep, there it is, to a hole in the inner fender for some chains, so we'll be able to chain the hood shut as well. Um, and I'm also going to leave the stock hinges on it. Gas tank is in. I still got to put one more bolt on it. Oh, right there. Um, and figure out routing for for that line. Um, I'm not really sure how to secure that, but I'll come up with, with something. Um, I don't want that obviously flopping around all over the place. So I'll figure that out. Not a, not a huge concern right now. We'll get that part taken care of here in a bit, uh, along with getting that one more bolt in. Uh, I have had the car running on this fuel tank so that is nice to know that it works that's always a a point of concern for me making sure everything works on our system once we pull out the stock stuff oof rusty falling down all right oh damn lady lady bugs it's uh 60 some degrees might be actually getting close to 70 here after you know it started to get chilly here for a bit so i don't know if you guys have these things in your area, but these stupid little lady beetles are all hatching and flying all over the friggin' place, and they love to fly in your hair. And Anyway, sorry, back to the car. Um, threaded rods run, as we saw. Um, fuel line. I'm going to pack a bunch of foam in there, and then I'm going to wrap the fuel line in, um, in air hose like we always do. So we'll get that part uh, obviously cleaned up, so no, it's not going to look like that. Don't worry, Jeremy, we're going to clean that up where it connects to, or where it goes through the firewall. Um, but then from there, it just goes in and straight down. Same thing for the battery cables. And if I weasel my way back here, um, I do have the rear tires on this car that will be going on the car. And squeeze past the torch. So, one one set of tires on. They're all, they're all four the same. I wasn't going to spend a bunch of money trying to get, you know, obviously... Full size guys these days, everybody wants as low as possible back here, so I'm not gonna go buy a, a special set of tires just for this one really old, really ginormous old boat. Um, so these ones uh, we had picked up over in Seymour, I think. Yeah, um, and we're uh, gonna run those. They're doubled, they're tubed, um, they're obviously gonna get me traction good enough, so. That'll be what goes on back there. Um, car is still obviously up in the air, so that's not our ride height, don't worry. Same thing over on that side. So I'll be letting her down here pretty soon. Um, I have the trunk open. I'm getting ready to figure out my plan exactly back here. Um, I don't know if I want to put a hole in here or not, just, for, just in case this thing does whale tail. Give me a little bit of vision out the back but we'll see um, other than that it's going to be run the the two threaded rods down to where the frame boxes together and that'll be about it i'm not going to do much back here the rest is going to be you know chain so i'm going to get to work uh, we've still got a little bit of time on this video so i'll make a little bit more progress um, might pull the pumpkin off work on trying to get the rear end welded up and uh, we'll get you guys an update right about now, boy, she drove herself out of the garage. I think this thing wants to go wreck some stuff in Boscobel, mainly itself. Look at that sexy ride. She is, she is getting closer. Obviously, I got four tires on it now, so that's a plus. Um, I'm still working on trying to figure out what I want to do with the trunk. I actually got somebody on their way over to, to help me out with that a little bit, trying to come up with a plan, because my original plan isn't going to work. Um, 
And originally I said I was gonna, I was gonna put my threaded rod right about there, which is where the frame box is together. And then just run it straight up. You are allowed to tuck the trunk, so I was gonna do that. And then chain, you know, back to where the 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 90 degree bend was. Um, however, after going back reading the rules again, you're only allowed two places on the trunk. So that's not gonna work. Um, because I don't really want to put my rod back there and have it right where the hinges are, because you are allowed to leave the stock hinges. Um, at least I don't think I want to. Um, but I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. Um, maybe we'll move a little bit further. This, this trunk's so damn big it echoes. Can you guys hear that? Echo! Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> move, sorry. Move the, the rod down here a little bit, where we want the first bend to be. Um, I don't think it's helping you strength-wise much that way, but that's all right. If it gets the, the hinder to go the way that we want it to, that's a, that's a positive in itself. Um, I took a little bit of a cruise. I actually drove it around in the yard a little bit. Um, I put brake fluid in it, and now suddenly it stops, um, and I can't find a leak as to where it would have come out because obviously it stopped for some reason, so I would have assumed it had a leak somewhere, being an old rotted out thing that it is, but um, I haven't been able to find it, so um, I did weld the rear end. I think you can probably see that. Can you see those? I did my best not to tear up the yard too well because you know, somebody would probably get mad at me, but yeah, I re it's, uh, it's weird, um, and I want to try to work on getting her to run just a little bit healthier because it's like, you can see I got the rear tires to here. I hope you can see that anyway. I feathered it a little bit, then she started kind of choking out. I feathered it, feather, 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 and then hit the gas, and then she'd take off. So, um, it's it's not real happy um, when it's running, but I mean, it is. It's running, so I guess that's a that's a plus. I mean, I can feather my way into into contact if I I have to, because once you get rolling, you can put your foot to the floor, and she'll she'll be just fine with that. Um, you can see I did it again back there. That was, I mean, so she let me stay on the, on the gas for a decent amount of time there. But again, I had to start, let's see, I can't, eh, where am I? I had to start back there, feather, feather, and then punch it. And you can see, obviously, it left a, a pretty good trail there. So, I mean, she's, she's letting me get on the gas. And here's where I threw her in reverse. Um, it's just that first, like, getting going, you got to, feather feather just give it a little bit of gas a little bit of gas if you just put your foot down it chokes itself out um, so just a, a little bit of, of getting used to here but maybe we'll, uh, we'll play with the, the running aspect of things a little bit here when anybody gets over here to, to play with things a bit but I'm gonna call that a video we'll get the next one up here um, after we get the trunk stuff figured out um, what do you guys think ready to see this thing get wrecked in Boscobel? I sure am. Appreciate you following along as always. Be a goose.